Road to 56 is a free vanilla-like major overhaul mod for Hearts of Iron 4. Overhauling and expanding its content, thus giving you lots of options to make a new world. The mod provides new and improved focus trees, enhanced technology branches, some new countries, and most importantly, funny events. Just like in vanilla version, you can play as any nation in the world. And with the mod enabled, the variety becomes more unpredictable and chaotic. How messy can it get now that only Almost each country has lots of different outcomes. Is peace even an option? Can I stand out and survive in such a cruel world? <laughs> well, I guess we'll find out in today's playthrough. Or are we playing as... Republic of Honduras, aka the Banana Republic. Yes, you heard that right. With the power of bananas, we'll expand our industry to the max. Citizens will consume bananas. Soldiers will use bananas as weapons. Banana cars will finally surpass Tesla. Our agents will disguise themselves as humans and infiltrate bananas. We are bananas. The whole earth is a banana. We'll build a statue of a banana, quoting... The only real power comes out of a lone banana. Perhaps you've heard what Tommy K said about bananas. Dude, that makes actually sense. Bananas are cool but boring. Bananas are always there for you. They don't cost much. You put it in your mouth, you peel off the side, there's sweetness, you have to spit out the core. But banana is just like sucking nature's dick. Bananas are a bit overrated. Will I be capable of tasting that sweet victory of banana? Will my banana business influence the whole world? Will I manage to expand my banana empire or will it fall like all empires do? Whatever the outcome is will depend on the choices I make. My name is Jurka Parachute and let's get banana -ed. That's me. My name is Taipurcio Caria Sandino, the 48th president of the Republic of Honduras, in which 99% of our population is democratic, with just 1% of it being communist. I'm pretty sure they won't cause any problems in the near future. The year is 1936, and it is the year where changes must be made in order to become successful. Let's do a quick overview so that we know what to improve on. First of all, our country's stability and war support must be more supportive. Next up is One Division Army, which consists of 4,000 people. We'll definitely need to expand our infantry for the protection purposes. And finally, factories. Two civilian and one military, which compared to America is not much. Now that we know our statistics, I suggest we partner up with the United Fruit Company, who influence a substantial amount of our economy by exporting bananas. Oh, unpleasant news from our neighbor. At least there was no civil war, because the country would turn into total chaos. Gas problems can be actually solved in peace. God damn it! Well, not in Spain, that is. Why not have elections like normal people? Wait, what? elections? Since when? Fascists in government? What is this? Some kind of an empire? Well, I guess it's rather them than communists. Brazil? Yeah, concerning developments. Am I actually missing something right now? Why is everyone getting overthrown by someone else? Imagine if this happened to us. That would be too crazy. <laughs> But, as they say, it's not always about the winning, it's about the play. Yes, that's me. My name is Samuel Zemeray, and I'm all business. Our corporation, called United Fruit Company, has been operating since 1899, and we've become increasingly involved in Honduran politics. Running business under ex-president's radar has proven to be challenging for me. So I decided to overthrow the government and become the president myself. And now I say we send two volunteer infantry divisions to Spain in order to gain army experience and perhaps an ally. Just gotta make sure the right Spain victory. No! God damn those anarchists! This puts fascist Spain in a weird position, honestly. But let's hope nothing more like this happens. <laughs> Mexico! Uh, okay, uh, is it just me or two people who speak Spanish love revolutions? Wait. It's fascists? I see a potential alliance! Hey, you, yes, guess who's taking a trip to Mexico? Retirada. That's right, you! Vamos, vamos! Have a nice trip!
hurrah! Finally, something good has happened in Europe. But I didn't want to focus that much on outside politics, since I'm literally carrying two revolutions right now. <gasps> oh, no, 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 wait, 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 huh? They won? Hurrah! I look forward to working with you. Here are some fresh bananas. And same goes to you, Mr. Spain. Congratulations. The struggle for independence is finally over. And with that, it was time to go home. But if we really want to become an empire, then free process is not gonna cut it. So it is time to enlarge our business. But how are we going to expand when whole Central America is guaranteed by USA? What will it take to revoke their protection? Oh, I know! We're going to blame communists! That's right, Mr. President. I have reason to believe that republics of Guatemala, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama are filled with communists. Hmm. That's a very strong claim, Samuel. But the Republic of Nicaragua is the only country with communism. Even if that, their main ideology is... Perhaps you want some fresh bananas, Mr. President? What? Bananas? Exactly, Mr. President. Our bananas come in fresh and sweet. Maybe I add banana pies. Holy banana! Yes, yes! So, what do you say? Do we have a deal? Well, your precious bananas are quite popular in America. So, it's a deal. Thank you, Mr. President. But watch yourself. Oh, believe me, I will. begins the age of banana empire. Our next target was Republic of Colombia. While declaring war, I decided to create an alliance with Mexico, which resulted them to join our banana finding conquest. The fight was... And we eventually managed to encircle them, but then... This communist scum declared war on a helpless democratic country. They are in dire need of help. Something needs to be done by us. That's right, you communist scum! Step back! Wait, something is off. Why is he guaranteed by America? <laughs> you know what, uh, let's actually check on the president. Holy ban- <laughs> What in the banana is this? Communism, son. <laughs> oh, sorry, but you don't seem like a father to me. Not in literal sense, of course, but we can always be friends. Friends? I'm actually very impressed by your little banana empire. Little? Listen. Comrade, I don't want any trouble, so I say we sign a non-aggression pact and go our separate ways. Does this sound good to you? Banana man. Banana man? Do you have any idea who you're talking to right now? Sam, I thought you were seeking an alliance with us. You got them wrong, America! You were supposed to destroy communists, not join them! Well, that didn't go as planned. Oh no! Citizens of Banana Empire, the time has finally come. The America we once knew is over. There is no more democracy. This hurts me to say, but the whole North America has been conquered by communists. And it is in our duty to stop them from expanding to the outer world. It is now our responsibility to deal with those communist scums. So prepare yourself. This is going to be a big one. Glory to Banana Empire!
And with that, our story ends. Of course, there is still evil in this world, but that's just how it is. A big thanks goes to Great Experiment, Judge Alford, The Spicy Alfredo, Lutos, and Thinking Waffle mm, for creating such marvelous math. And an honorable mention to Xate for suggesting Road to 56 and other people who proposed their cool ideas. And of course, you guys, thank you for your support. The previous video really blew up and it's all thanks to you guys. Also, consider landing on our Discord server and suggesting your ideas there. Anyway, that's enough for me. My name is Yuka Parachute and until next time.